Hello, welcome back to the Bibbs Booktube channel. My name is Kaylin, and today I'm going to be talking about bullet journaling. And I think this is like the main reason why I was so successful at reading last month and not really this month because I haven't really like fully got into bullet journaling with all the activities and events that are taking place this month. But last month I got quite a few books read. I read eight books in one month, which who knows when the last time that had happened, which definitely has been a couple of years for me. Normally I'll read a couple books a month if I'm lucky, but recently through the past couple of like years and months, I just haven't really been reading jack crap. So with that being said, I decided to try this bullet journaling business because I've seen a lot of videos with bullet journaling and I'm like that is so artistic, beautiful, and creative and I love it. And I wanted to see if it like actually helped me like would stay on track, be like coloring where it was just like so relaxing to do and I think the outcome speaks for itself. So also I picked up this bullet journal at Walmart for four bucks so you can't go wrong. So when you first open it up I left a blank page for the first page. I don't know. But I left it blank and then I decided to write on the right hand side where I talk about my April stuff. And mainly I just made my April TBR and then other re other books that I read in the month because I just ran out of room here and then I already made my page goal which I exceeded. My handwriting's not the best but at least I made a TBR and I don't stick to TBRs often but I made a TBR and it was satisfying to check with my little red pen like, oh, I read this book and I read that book and oh, I'm going to be reading this book. Maybe I'll check it off with my little red pen. So I was really excited about that. I really loved coloring with the page goal section area. It is a Winsor & Newton Pro marker. It definitely, definitely bleeds through and I uh, learned that lesson as it bled onto the next page. So even though this pen is absolutely beautiful in color and I'd highly, highly recommend it, it just bleeds like a mofo and so that being said do not do not use these if you're bullet journaling um if you are bullet journaling a pro tip would be to just do one page at a time so that way you have like no bleeding through and if i wanted to write on this page i'd have almost bleeding through and it just suck so that's what I kind of learned from. Also, the pens that I used throughout this entire journaling session was these cute pens that I picked up at Walmart for like six bucks. But I got this pro marker at Hobby Lobby for like five bucks. And so it was definitely an expensive purchase, but definitely a beautiful color and worth it. So the next page was I did my Goodreads challenge, but I made this cute little like how many books did I read this month? But I plan on like redoing this page. Uh, later on in my bullet journal since it just I didn't fit in all the books that I want to complete on my challenge on there so I'm gonna completely totally redo that page but it was really nice once again to color with this beautiful marker and color in all these beautiful little books nothing fancy with this uh, design whatsoever because I feel like my artistic abilities are not quite there with the other bullet journalists so it was it's just kind of bland and there but I really like um, having all my series and the amount of books that I still have to finish left in them and like complete them and I really like and enjoy that little small aspect of this journal. And then I made a new releases page for all the new releases that are coming out this year that I'm really looking forward to and hopefully getting to read so I can check them off with my little red pen again. So on that page I have like The Merciless Four, Last Rites, Restore Me, Catwoman, Soul Sealer, so far. The next page I did was YouTube Ideas which I have oops, not yet completed or even start to complete because I don't really know what I'm going to do with this page. I don't know if it's going to be like booktube ideas or like other stuff, but the font is just ridiculous. It I was trying to go for a cool like futuristic look and you can kind of read and tell what it is at some point. I started looking up fonts on Pinterest to try to spice up my pages so they're not so bland and boring with my weird handwriting. And then last but not least, here's a little sneak peek for my May um, bullet journaling. Hopefully it gets better in the month of May as of right now. Nothing's really like happening with my May bullet journaling sessions, but at least I've decided to spice it up a little, add some more color, add some more designs, and I'm just like, please work out. <laughs> and hopefully my font looks better. But other than that, like I just have a couple of books here that I want to complete in the month of May since I'm so busy with stuff. But if you guys bullet journal, let me know in the comment section down below and that's gonna be it for today's video. Um, I'm gonna go get back to some reading because 
need to finish my TBR pile this month. And anyways, that's going to be it for today's video. I will see you guys next time for a new bookish video.